the city where gourmets gather from around the world. Now at the forefront of food, original cooking is being created with Japanese food. Sneak into the kitchen of a popular restaurant and... Um, while we let that saute down, then we grab our little secret ingredient, which we have over here. Where are the secret ingredients? And our secret ingredient for this one is a little bit of shirodashi. It's Japanese shirodashi. At this restaurant, shirodashi, white soy sauce with soup stock, is used to flavor various dishes. It brings out the depths of the flavors and is popular among the customers. It kind of brings it over the top. That would be this, our shio kombu. Japanese eggplant is grilled and the topping is shio kombu sauce with pine nuts and bacon. A mild tasting appetizer with an unfamiliar texture has impressed New Yorkers with discerning taste buds. In fact, a certain taste which Japanese cuisine has valued has become a global boom. I know umami, yeah. I know umami. Yes, I heard the word umami. Yes, umami, yes. The foundation of Japanese cuisine, umami. Umami is a flavor which has been created by the Japanese climate. The Japanese create seasonings which heighten umami by using the power of microbes in the soil and fermentation. For example, miso is a fermented food product of soybeans. Using the power of mold, deeper, rich flavor and umami is brought out. Then there is soy sauce. If you look at the ceiling of this storehouse, you will see that the beams are covered with corgi mold. Without this mold, tasty soy sauce could not be produced. Dried bonito and kelp dashi are also techniques to bring out the umami to the maximum. For many years, the four tastes of sweet, sour, bitter and salty were the basic tastes in the world of cooking. However, in 2002, umami was scientifically proven to be the fifth taste and received the attention of the world. For eight consecutive years, this restaurant has received a Michelin star. Kelp and bonito katsu odashi is used even here. In New York, there is an umami shop and even an umami burger. Umami has become the international standard for delicious cooking. We talked to a top-level chef who is hailed as the master of umami. To accomplish umami. So that's why I think all the time. How is my ingredients creating a new tone of flavors? Mr. David Bouli is a French chef who has been studying Japanese cuisine and umami for around 20 years. Japanese seasonings also appear on the menu. Japanese umami has now become an essential seasoning even for French cooking. But you can see how this is like French cooking, but Japanese ingredients. This dish uses red king crab. Japanese umami is lavishly used for the colorful sauce, which is synonymous with French cooking. Put a little bit of soy sauce. Soy sauce. A little bit of mirin. Pepper. Now, cruise with that. So now we have thickened kuzu This one is this one. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Okay. Further adding a green umami sauce here. This is uh, avocado and miso. This is sweet Kyoto miso. This is an original sauce mixing avocado and Kyoto style miso. The sourness of the passion fruit, the dense richness of avocado, and the sweetness of the red king crab are well combined. 
Fusion with the Japanese umami creates cutting edge French cuisine. A Japanese chef is looking for all the nature power to reach a new level. But it's very hard to, to pass mother nature. Japanese food has been in step with umami from the distant past, bringing out the workings of nature. Umami is now changing the world's food.